If you're new to pinball and you're like interested in joining a league and just overall want to get better at pinball and you may not know, let's say anything at all, there's a few things you're going to want to practice. Rule number one is when you step up to a machine and you hit start, you can hit start for as many people as are going to play. So let's say you and your buddy are here. It's like Mario Brothers, right? So I'm Mario. I hit start. If I want Luigi to play too, I just hit start again. Now there's two players. Same with Mario Brothers. There's three lives. I'm going to go first. When the ball drains, Luigi's up. He's going to play. When that drains, back and forth after three balls. Highest score is the person that doesn't get punched in the arm at the end of the game. Flipper mechanics stay the, the same on every single machine that you play. So the, the rules that you learn here of how to control this ball will go back to games dating from like the 70s, 60s, 50s. It just, it all carries over. And don't mash both flippers. It ruins reaction times for different moves I'm about to show you here. One of the easiest maneuvers in pinball is called the dead flip. So what happens is if you're playing and the ball is rolling towards a flipper, okay? Your instinct is, crap, that ball's coming to the flipper, I gotta flip it, right? What a dead flip is, is you're letting the ball cruise towards a flipper, it's gonna hit that flipper while it's down, and it's gonna bounce over to the opposing flipper where you get to hold that flipper up, cradle the ball, which means hold on to the ball, look at what's blinking, take a breath, take a drink, whatever you gotta do, and it just eats a lot of the momentum and allows for more control of what's going on in the game. Pinball is all about control. Everyone thinks it's random, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there is a degree of randomness in pinball, but it's all control. It's all about, it's not even making your shots. It's just recovering from missing your shots. That's where all this stuff makes you want to ignore the scoreboard, okay? Ignore the DMD, ignore the LCD screen, because if you're going to be practicing dead flips, you got to learn to read that ball a little sooner. And uh, as you start off, you're going to read it a little wrong. And you might hit like the crotch of the plastic in the flipper and the ball shoots right down the middle. Disheartening, you just threw a ball away. Uh, but that's where playing on a game that's on free play or it's cheap to play comes in handy really well. Depending on the machine, pulling the plunger, different varying strengths does make a difference. There's certain machines like uh, on Aerosmith, for instance, if you pull just right, the ball will go up, just barely finding a little secret entrance into the lock shot here. A short plunge on Ghostbusters. There's different skill shots depending on how hard you pull it. You pull it soft, get it in the top lanes. You pull it hard, it goes all the way around. You have to make a shot. Really depends on the machine. 50%, if not more, of pinball is nudging the machine. You're giving it little tiny bumps, little slaps, you know, if a ball's coming around an orbit and it looks like it's gonna go down the center, a little slap up here to bop it off the wall feeds it to the right flipper. So if the ball is ever heading towards the top of the slingshot or in lane and out lane area, since the ball wants to leave, you need to control it. What, so the best thing to do is whatever's screwed into the play field, you're going to nudge that at the ball. And the game is live right now, but we're not getting any warning. So I'm doing this and what happens is whatever is screwed into the play field, hits that ball back into play, allowing you to give yourself a moment to figure out now where's the ball gonna go. But you wanna just keep it in play in this two thirds up here as often as possible. If everyone's like, hey, the ball keeps draining down the center, there's a move called the slap save that you're gonna love. So if it's traveling straight down, you choose which hand you're stronger with or which flipper might be closer. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the game and the flipper button at the same time. That moves the machine just enough and lifts one of the flippers that it just barely tips that ball and moves it to the other flipper so you can put it back in play. Make sure you watch other people that are better than you because watching tutorials and stuff, although that's great, you need to see it firsthand for it to work really well. I was taught and trained by some of the best pinball players I would say in the world. Ask questions. There's lots of great forums out there for you to uh, check out and uh, watch my show every single day where I show people different flipper mechanics and such. There's a whole lot of nuance with just these two buttons.